You're never gonna get me, copper. Ah! Hey, this is Barry for Aquarium Outfitters and Fish Store, and welcome to Species Spotlight. Today, we're gonna be talking about the copper band butterfly. The copper band butterfly can be found in Australia, Indonesia, Philippines, and Singapore. Also known as the beak butterfly fish, beak coral fish, or orange striped butterfly, the copper band butterfly is a distinctive, beautiful fish. I really love the look of these guys. This is a really passive fish that can be very timid. They should definitely be kept in a peaceful community tank. It just doesn't do well with aggressive fish. It can get stressed out really easily. You should also not keep these with other copper bands or similar butterfly fish. This fish can be a little fragile and it's recommended to have your tank well established, say for six months or so before buying one. There are definitely some risks in trying to keep this fish, but I feel like the reward is worth the risk. These fish are known to be a great help in fighting Aptasia and reef tanks, but by that same measure, sometimes you might get a copper band that might pick at your feather duster or anemone some. You may just want to keep an eye on them. These guys can max out around eight inches. This fish is a carnivore, but it can be difficult to get to eat, especially if anybody in your tank is an aggressive eater. You may need to try a variety of prepared meaty foods like brine or mysis shrimp to see what your copper band will go after. The recommended tank size for this fish is 75 gallons. Okay, so let's go over our checklist. The copper band butterfly is a moderate to difficult care level fish that is peaceful. They do well in the fish only system and in the reef tank with just a little bit of caution. So what are your thoughts on the copper band butterfly? Ever had one? Comment below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Commonly, the copper band butterfly lives around 40 years in the aquarium, a little longer with good care, and they can live closer to 10 years in the wild. Ah!